Good evening and welcome to Real Tika We Talk on Awaz Entertainment. My name is Tahir Aikrashi. I'm a fellow of Rose Institute of Canada, broker of record for City Pro Realty Inc. Brokerage, and I'm your host. Tonight we're going to talk about art of negotiation. There are two factors very important to understand, and I will explain to you first stage about what are the five phases of a negotiation that we go through. One, when you are in real estate, investigation stage one, where you collect data, you research information, and you develop a position based on your research. Investigation is very comprehensive. If you're talking about real estate, you have MLS data, member of TREB, or ITSO and other, uh, other board, they have sold data. They also search information from MPAC that give you square footage. It talks about the date it was built, frontage and, and uh, depth, and also uh, more details about depending on what report you buy. Then you also have a geo warehouse. It has a multiple reports. It find it verify the seller is the one who's selling it. It has a pin number, property information uh, uh, pin number that will give you who owns it to make sure before you sell a property or the buyer buys a property, they can see the assessments all the details then you have done this collecting data then you have to determine your betna betna is a word term that is used alternate best alternate to a negotiated agreement called betna we're going to give you an example of that as we move forward then you have to determine as a presentation method that you're gonna to use to negotiate a deal. How are you gonna present your position when you are buying or selling, or as a real estate professional, you are presenting offer on behalf of the buyer? And uh, then the next one is bargaining. You're trying to bargain a price. And obviously, seller will have his own real estate professional who's going to create their own BATNA. What is their alternative to negotiate agreement? Or they end up with a, a ZOPA, ZOPA, which is a, another terminology that will give you a, a how to negotiate a, a position. So we're going to talk about that as we... We, we talk about the zone of potential agreement. If your BATNA doesn't work, then you have to look at the zone of potential agreement, mean areas where you can bargain and negotiate a deal. Now, then the last one is closure. That means we have developed our own strategy. <coughs> Sorry. And we have developed our investigation we have determined our uh, BATNA, uh, which is uh, your position, how you're going to uh, negotiate. For example, if you are buying a house, you have position, prepare that house, this is worth half a million dollars. Now, the other choice is that you can find alternative, other property similar is left available to you for 475,000 or 450,000, and you trying to negotiate that price of that property at 475. Now you have two situations. This is part of BETNA uh, terminology. Now, if you think you are not able to achieve by through negotiation that, that you can buy that property for 475,000, you have two choices. 
you walk away. You have not able successful in negotiating to meet your betna because you could not negotiate that because you have an option. So you have an option to walk away and you can get the other property because you have said that. This terminology of betna was established by Roger Fisher and William Ore in 1981, bestseller, getting to yes, negotiating without giving. That means you are trying to negotiate that property even though you have the ability to go half a million dollar to buy that property, but because similar or identical property is available somewhere else for less money, so you are not going to give your bet, that means you're not going to give that away and pay more and you walk away. You have that, this is part of the, the, the Betna uh, techniques. That means seller, if they want to sell the property, they have to agree to your offer if this is the highest offer in negotiation has come in. So, you know, when we have multiple offers, the prediction was, the, we have multiple offers, lots of things were happening, too many offers, and people were going way beyond their own betna because they like the property. And it's an emotional decision. Whereas you have a limit that you cannot cross, and this is why you have to stick to it. As a part of the Zopa negotiation, I'm giving you an example of that. Zopa is a position of the seller or the buyer. Let's assume it's a half a million dollar property. The seller has decided <coughs> they will accept anything between <coughs> 490 to half a million. Now, that's a seller's best, best scenario is to sell it at half a million. A lower scenario is to sell it at 490 because that's the position of the seller. Where the buyer position is based on his approval mortgage, based on all the analysis so, that has been. Now it's fully renovated. Life catering, barbecue, tandoor, jalebi, or fresh naan. Takhreeb aapke ghar mein ho ya ghar se bahar. Zok is providing full service now. And Zok has opened a new banquet hall, garden, even center. Aapka Zok dekha, loog kahenge, kya Zok hai aapka? Call right now, 905-625-7786. Zok, Zok walon ke liye. سیاست سے تجارت تک دے سب سے پہلے گھبرانا نہیں تعلیم سے معیشت تک آپ کے جی پہ ڈاکہ ڈالنا جانتے ہیں صحت سے سنت تک کچھ اور گھر میں آ چکا ہے جنابی سپیکر حکومتی ایوانوں سے چائے خانوں تک کوئی نہیں بچ پائے گا تقرار سے کون کب کیسے کیوں جیسے سوال بنتے ہیں موضوع پروگرام تقرار میں دیکھتے رہیے تکرار کینیڈا سے براہ راست سمینا جبین کے ساتھ منڈے ٹو فرائیڈے صرف آواز انٹرٹینمنٹ پر گڈ ایوننگ اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ریلٹی کافی ٹاک اینڈ آواز انٹرٹینمنٹ وی ہیو اے شارٹ بریک سو وی گن کم بیک وی ٹاک ٹو یو آئی واز ریپیٹنگ اگین اباؤٹ بیٹنا دیٹ از بیسٹ الٹرنیٹو ٹو اے نیگوشیٹڈ ایگریمنٹ The BATNA is an example I gave you before that you have, you want to buy, you have the ability to buy half a million dollar house, but you decided to buy for less because there is an alternative house available, identical or similar for less money. Therefore, you are going to offer and negotiate a price which is lower than your capacity to buy this property. So for example, if it's a half a million dollar, you are allowed to buy a half a million dollar, but 
There is an alternative property available at 475000 and then you want to negotiate the price of this property at 475000 And you are willing to walk away if the seller will not give you that house of 475000 because you have the option. And this is called Betna. The seller, if the seller does not stop the price, drop the price, then you have no choice to walk away. And this is how the bet number work means you have alternative best option for the similar property, but you want this property at the price that is available on the property. Now, we talk about ZOPA, and this is where zone of potential agreement, when you have this Bet, uh, betna doesn't work, then you look at the uh, ZOOP, zone of potential agreement, where it can happen. Now, there is two things happen. The seller develop a position. Let's go back to the same example of half a million dollar. So seller want half a million, that's the best price for this property, but then minimum he or she will accept, let's say, is 490000 now, on the buyer side, buyer think the best offer based on his mortgage approval or, or evaluation determination, the best price for that is, let's say, 480000 And minimum accept, acceptable to his is uh, 485000 He cannot go there higher than that because of murky condition. We're talking about 5,000, 10,000 difference. Now, they have the situation where the both parties have to negotiate because <coughs> if seller <coughs> does not come below 490, there is no deal. And that's the lowest possible price. Similarly, the, the, the buyer is the highest is 485. So therefore, the, the, the buyer and seller will have a difference. And that's what they're going to try to negotiate. And then they can immediately because difference will be very small, which can be negotiated. And this is why the, if, if the zone of the potential agreement is not increased or decreased by either party, they have their parameter within their, they have to work. Let's assume the, the mini, maximum is, one night, uh, 490, then they have a deal. But if not, they have to come up with the strategy how to fill the gap. And that's why when you are trying to make it happen, you have a bargaining, you have discussions, and things will happen to you. And this is why it's a part of the negotiation. Now, in terms of bargaining, and that's where you you know that the BATNA is a very difficult because there's a lot of choices for the buyer. But under the ZOOP, ZOOPA, you are enabled to negotiate that and bargain that. And this is how you negotiate in terms of being a, a real estate professional. You know, in our industry, we have lots of people that under list property, they, uh, they get multiple offers sometime. And now with the interest is going up, I'm going to, I was at the Bank of Canada site today. So there is a potential for interest rate hike if, depending on the report, on September 7, October 26, and December 7. They evaluate their interest rates eight times a year. So these three remaining dates are coming. So it will determine the affordability of the buyers because it affects it, how much they qualify. 
and how much they can afford. It affects those people who already have a variable mortgage. It's going to affect them unless they already fixed it. The highest rate, I'm a principal broker of Canada Express Mortgaging uh, License uh, 13241. Uh, we know that the people who have on variable, they are on the high risk. It doesn't matter if it's a mortgage or it's a loan. We are all at risk because it's going to escalate because of interest right now on a line of credit is approximately 4.7%. Uh, if it's a prime, prime only, but if it's a prime plus, you can add that, then you can see your cost of carrying a mortgage or even personal home line of credit has increased. Therefore, your affordability challenge, if we have another increase, let's say another half percent, is really going to affect. So we are watching carefully to see what happened. It's going to help also to understand. So it's very important, I ask all of you who are watching, please subscribe to Bank of Canada rate so you don't get surprised. Anytime there is a rate increase, they no notify you immediately. Before they come into the public media or social media, you get notified. This is very, very important for you to, to do that, and therefore you are able to do that. And it's very important in order to make a decision about keeping a property or not selling. As you know, we talk about the, the sale of the properties, and in the report that came on trap for July, our active listing was increased 57.6%. Our <clears throat> average year over year change was 1.2%. So we are gone back to July last year, uh, only 1.2% from last July to this July. This first uh, five months, consecutively, our price of average home based on a tra a trap. Uh, Market watch is I reduce $259,310 from February being the hottest, highest average price. This is based on 90541 total transaction. So I always ask you to talk to your uh, real estate professional who's guiding you to, to buy and sell a property to make sure that a proper uh, determination is made uh, and collecting the data, you are doing a, a proper planning. And then it's part of your strategy when you hire a real estate professional. I'm a fellow of Real Estate Europe of Canada. I'm a certified real estate specialist. I'm a senior real estate specialist dealing with the people who are 50 plus and also certified international property specialist. I deal with foreign buyers and uh, and and help people to determine the real value, residential or commercial. As you know, I am a, a director of Park Home Builders. Uh, we are a 10 year registered builder, and I am the senior vice president of the corporation. So if you are, you need to buy and build your home, you can call, call me, my number is 416-451-3489. I can help you to build your home. And, and, and determine the real value of your property. If you're a landowner, you can come to us. If you're looking to buy a brand new home, give me a call. Or you want to buy from real estate market, yes, call me. Or you want to buy it from the builder or pre-construction, give me a call. There's lots of opportunity for the buyers. So now let's talk about negotiating strategy. And this is part of the negotiating strategy. When you are going to buy a house, let's assume that you are going to buy a car. You know how many models that you check? The car value has gone up now. So from Mercedes to BMW or Land Cruiser or whatever, and you go to Toyota, Honda, blah, blah, blah. You create a budget. You look at, you take the price, you look at the design, you look at the, everything, and you, then you say, okay, what is my carrying cost? Because your carrying cost will affect you when you are buying a property because you are going to borrow it and unless you are paying cash for it, it becomes a liability. You will have an asset on, on one side and your, your uh, liability because you have to pay monthly and that when you go evaluation for getting your pre-approval, it's going to be shown as a deduction. 
So this is very important. So you create a strategy, you have a budget, and then you can say, what is the best value? Where can I get the best property for my best value for my, my home? Is it in the town, in Mississauga, Toronto, Hamilton, <coughs> Brampton, or Milton, Oakville? <coughs> or you have to go away. And you also look at the, the, the best scenario because you want a, a property, a certain feature that is good for your family. Now, the again, this is as a part of real estate professional, it's our fiduciary duty to do our homework to protect your interests. So we provide you, we guide you best of our ability because we have a code of ethic. And we, as a real estate professional licensed by Real Estate Council of Ontario, they are the regulator, they monitor our real estate profession in there, which include education, registration, compliance, and consumer protection program. Your deposit is protected uh, up to 100,000. Now they're increasing to over 200,000. I have yet to confirm that, but there is why you are dealing with a real estate professional. Now, something is make them think. You know, you also have to think about it to make sure that when you're working with the consumer to make sure this is their ideas. You discuss them. So make sure they're comfortable because you can guide them to make an idea, guide them to make a proposition or recommendation based on information. Now, important thing is to, to develop a reasonable expectation based on the data, before the qualification, based on the, the investigation you did, you create your BETNA, uh, you also create ZOPA. You create that position of negotiating and create reasonable expectation because if you say, no, I'm going to help you to buy this property without doing the homework and you're not going to achieve that, you're going to have a disappointed client. I'm talking about real estate professional. And also having understanding. I, I use a WhatsApp group. I create a WhatsApp group where my clients share information with me from the day we list or the day we start hiring, uh, representing them as a BRA, by representation. We create a WhatsApp group, all information is shared until the transaction is completed. Now, if you are trying to buy a property, helping a client to sell or buy, you got to have a win-win strategy. If a real estate professional is working hard, he's doing his groundwork, and he's doing a preparation, then he or she will have all the data and reach a conclusion. Remember that you're on the, if you are representing a buyer, seller has the same access that you have. It all depends how much effort the seller agent has put in to create a position. Because if transaction or negotiation is not succeeding, somebody will be disappointed. So it's very, very important. Always, you have to do the assess market value instead of asking price. Never rely on the asking price. You need to do market analysis and do the ass assessment. What is the really estimated value of the property? Do, you know, uh, TRAB, TRAB also have a CMA. It so also have a CMA. You can combine them two together, create two separate one or one. Adjust the prices, you know the comparable, you can bring them up on, on your CMA. And you can talk with your client. The best client is who is well informed what's going on. And this is where you have to have this. You also have to understand the persuasion, how the fundamental principle of persuasion is. That means how you can approach that to negotiate that. I just mentioned your Penta, I talk about Zopa. So you have to develop that position by collecting the data and creating that, then you are able to pursue them based on providing them the harness. I sometimes share some information with the sellers if I'm representing the buyer. Well, you come up with a price, you're throwing a price, it doesn't make any sense. You share with them, here is the price, this is 1,700 square feet, my property is 2,400 square feet. What is the cost of a construction for a new home? You talk about that. 
Therefore, you are pursuing them logically. If your house is frontage is 54, the somebody else sold the property is only 40, and you can say that this is a wider lot. So you break down cost of above grade, cost of the lot, and also cost of the uh, basement. And obviously adjustment, if you have a swimming pool, you don't have a swimming pool. You have a modern kitchen, updated or not updated. You have a hardwood floor versus laminate flooring or, or a broad loom. So you need those adjustments, bathrooms, how, when was those updated? Kitchen, when was updated? What kind of countertop is there? These are all the information you collect to prepare your client when you put an offer. Always calculate by doing your homework so you have a success in, in negotiating your deal. We're going to take a short break and we'll come back and continue our conversation on Realty Coffee Talk and Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the world. So, now it's fully renovated. Life catering, barbecue, tandoor, jalebi, or fresh naan. Takhreeb aapke ghar mein ho ya ghar se bahar. Zok is providing full service now and Zok has opened a new banquet hall, garden, even center. Aapka Zok take lo kehenge. Kya Zok hai aapka? Call right now 905-625-7786. Zok. Zok walon ke liye. KK Travel believe in providing everyone the first class customer service. We take care not only for your etiquette but dignity and respect as well. We are available for you anytime on WhatsApp even while you are in Pakistan or any other destination. KK Travel's guarantee lowest prices and are open to price match any airline. We are KK Travel's under supervision of Gas Khan at 905-367-9433 or visit www.kaskhantravels.com تجارت تک سب سے پہلے گھبرانا نہیں تعلیم سے معیشت تک صنعت تک حکومتی ایوانوں سے چائے خانوں تک کوئی نہیں بچ پائے گا تکرار سے کون کب کیسے کیوں جیسے سوال بنتے ہیں موضوع پروگرام تکرار میں دیکھتے رہیے تکرار کینیڈا سے براہ راست سمینا جبین کے ساتھ منڈے ٹو فرائیڈے صرف آواز انٹرٹینمنٹ پر ڈکسی الیکٹرانکس اور اپلائنسز پچھلے سولہ سالوں سے خریداروں کی خدمت کر رہے ہیں ہم لگتار چار سالوں سے خریداروں کی پہلی پسند بنے رہنے کا ایوارڈ حاصل کر چکے ہیں ہم کچنرز باش ورپور ایل جی سیمسنگ اور جنرل الیکٹرک کے آثرائی ڈیلر ہیں فائیو سٹار خدمت کا لکس لیں ہم آپ سبھی کو سی بی سب سے زیادہ ریائیتی داموں پر دینے کی گارنٹی دیتے ہیں www.dixieelectronics.ca ہماری ویب سائٹ پر جائیں یا ابھی کال کریں 905-625-5900 سبھی بہت ہی مناسب قیمت پر دستیاب ہیں جو آپ با آسانی سے لے سکتے ہیں ایٹ ڈکسی وی سیل کوالٹی اینڈ ڈیلیور کانفیڈنس संतीदा कलर और फैब्रिक को खूबसूरत तरीके से डिजाइन किया जाए। जी हाँ तो आप
आपको दे रहे हैं ये खुशखबरी कि मिसेस सागर ने खुल चुका है दुल्हन बुती और आपके इस स्पेशल दिन के लिए होना चाहिए स्पेशल डिजाइन का ड्रेस हमें फॉलो कर सकते हैं इंस्टाग्राम पे कॉल कीजिए राइट नाउ नाइन ओ फाइव फाइव नाइन एट फोर सेवन फाइव सेवन गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू रियलिटी काफी टॉक एंड आवाज इन टेम है इन कैनडा अराउंड वर्ल्ड माय नेम इज ताहिर आई कुरेशी एम ए फेलो रोस्ट इज यू कैनडा ब्रोकर ऑफ रेकर्ड फैसिलिटी प्रो रियलिटी इंक ब्रोकरेज एंड योर होस्ट we were talking about the art of negotiation and we have discussed quite a few strategy one is a betna where if you are not able to negotiate and seller refuses to agree to your price you walk away and you buy the other alternative best option at the lower price the other is zopa basically each one is minimum one is a, has a minimum one has a maximum so if the seller has a minimum 490000 and maximum is half a million and the buyer has a minimum of 475 and let's say maximum of 490 so there is a match there with a small variation here and there but the match is there there is a potential for negotiating a successful deal which is win win for both one is a minimum one is for maximum the seller has a minimum acceptable and the the buyer has a maximum he or she can give to make a deal we talk about the betna you have to learn to walk away say no to a deal because it's practically impossible based on your data that you have collected you know it based on your assessment collecting of data creating your betna that you cannot make this deal you learn to say no and you buy the other property that's available to you never underestimate the power of truth this is very very important that both parties on the buyer side or seller side they tell the truth because when you entering into agreement and it, and there is a reliance between of you there are assumption made and is written in the agreement that if your square footage is 2000 say 2000 if is in between 5000 say 5000 but if you misrepresent there is a consequences for misrepresentation and not only you get sued there could be a disciplinary charge against you for misrepresentation i want all real estate professional to look at the reba real estate business broker act is going to be changed to tresa april 1st 2023 code of conduct regulation ontario regulation 580/05 there are about approximately 53 chapters they talk about falsification misrepresentation and other things you need that as a real estate professional to read those to make sure your client knows that you're working very hard and you're following the code of ethics it's your fiduciary duty to protect the interest of your client so this is very important and you can misrepresent falsify and share information which is not accurate it has a repercussion and most cases some mistakes are done depending on what type of mistake is there is no recourse because time has lapsed you have a fact now a, a, a negotiated agreement of purchase and sale it has the consequences for not telling the truth so very important to have the facts and share with buyer and seller now it's very important when you are representing a seller particular case 
you must understand the seller position. But as long as disclosure of information is concerned, you must share the accurate, complete, and honestly. They need to provide you consent to share the information. Sometimes it's happened professionally that you walk away from the deal because you have not disclosed or your seller is telling you not to disclose, which violated the Code of Ethics and RIBA. It's better to walk away from that kind of deal than to make a deal. It's very important. Now, the putting in writing is the best way forward. Any verbal conversation is not going to take you. He said, she said. Because contract is a, agreement of purchase and sale, APS, is a contract between buyer and seller based on the information shared by the listing broker to the buyer broker through the agents. They are, they are registrants working for either party. So if you put in everything in black and white in writing, so there is no room for mistakes. This is why I always encourage our professional, when you are signing a listing agreement, you're signing a buyer position agreement, you're sign, negotiating, helping the agreement of purchase and sale, put everything in Schedule A. If you can, create Schedule B, C, D, E, whatever it takes. Put everything in black and white to make sure everything is in writing because it, it takes away the assumption. When people assume things or expectations are higher, if you put them in writing, you don't have to deal with this later on. And I also guide you and suggest you that you consult with the lawyer. I always said, as a part of the team of strategy, hire a lawyer who's going to close your deal. And when you are preparing agreement of purchase and sale and you have a unique situation, please discuss those clauses that you're putting in before submitting the offer. Because lawyer will help you to make sure if there are any mistakes or language needs to be improved under special circumstances, they will do that for you. And now, include everything. Never assume that, oh, I'm going to get these kitchen uh, appliances, or I will get that uh, washing or dryer sitting, or a freezer, extra freezer sitting in the, in the basement that I thought we're gonna, is going to be included. No. Or, oh, the, the seller will give you uh, more time to do the, uh, you know, time extension for the mortgage or for the appraisal or for the home inspection. Don't assume anything. Put in black and white, include in your agreement of purchase and sale so you can feel comfortable and you have consulting the lawyer and they fine tune your clauses. That's why we have a Schedule A. We can put anything they want. And you also to make sure when you are preparing the offer, make sure that you are talking with the buyer. Don't just send them last minute to electronically sign that without them reading and understanding what they're signing. Because consumer are relying on your ability to negotiate a deal. And if you have rushed them out, they can complain against you. They might not have a legal course against the seller because mistake was done by you and then you could, could be in, in trouble. Unless it's a false, fabricated, or inaccurate, or misrepresented in the whole transaction. So art of negotiation is to do the preparation, do a proper determination, get all the data investigation, determine your betna to make sure you are in a, and present it professionally, and try to bargain for your client based on fact and then close it. That means you have to achieve success to make a deal. Then you can see your fruit of your hard labor. Without a closure, completing a transaction is energy wasted without achieving positive result, not only to make your client happy, not only you will earn, also you have a, a transaction that you did. So it's very important. Art of the negotiation is to achieve success through negotiation. I hope this 
topic has been any help to you, if you have any question, you can call me directly. My cell number is 416-451-3489. RealtyCoffeeTalk.com has all the episodes that have been aired on Awaz Entertainment. You can go and visit and subscribe my YouTube channel. But if you are in real estate, buying and selling as a broker, as an agent, a mortgage agent, broker, renovator, builder, developer, or lawyer, painter, plumber, and construction worker, this is the best time for you to choose and take advantage of a special offer for Awaz Entertainment to advertise on Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the world. I have talked to our managing director, uh, Ms. Javeen, she will give you a special discount, $500 plus HSC, 10 times a day for 30 days. You provide the video. If the, you want the Awaz Entertainment to do the video, it will cost you extra. So you will be able to call 1-647-484-0018 and subscribe to this service and tell them you are viewer of Realty Kavi Talk on Awaz Entertainment. My name is Tahir Rai Qureshi. I'm a fellow of Rural Institute of Canada, Broker Record Facility for Realty. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. on Awaz Entertainment in Canada, around the world.